So hey guys in this lecture I will show you how you can create the classic editor pipeline using the Jenkins service connections in the Azure DevOps and then we will create the YAML CI CD pipelines using the Jenkins service connection so that we can trigger the build through the CI CD pipelines in the Azure DevOps. So in earlier video we have created the one Jenkins service connections using the admin username and the password and this was the service connection name jenkins service connection zero demo so let me add it few things here okay. this is the server url we are using this is our server url here and then this is the admin is the username now here when you using the services you need to enter the service api token so which service api token we need to take we need to take the Jenkins service API token so for that first you can go to the Jenkins go to admin and here go to the configure and under that one there are the multiple API tokens you can create it here so you need to create a new API token to connect the Jenkins server with the external tools so here you click on the add new token you enter the name so i will enter the name like the token for jenkins 01 okay then let's generate the token and then copy the whole token if you try to copy to click or copy this token through the clipboard sometimes this is not working the best you can copy from here you copy this one okay now you can apply and this save this one now here we have this api token wiki number and now let's come to our azure devops now here we just enter the service connection api token and let's verify okay so verification is succeeded now this is the service connection name jenkins service connection 01 demo and now verify and save Alright, so now we have updated this API token for the Jenkins service. Now I want to create a classic editor pipeline. So for that I will go to the pipeline sections. In the pipeline sections I need to create a new pipeline. So for that I will click on the new pipeline. And this time I want to show with the classic editor pipeline. So I will use the use the classic editor to create a pipeline without EML format. Now here we need to select the repository. So this is our project and this is our demo repository of the demo project. And let's continue. And now I need to select the empty job here. Alright, so now we have this the pipeline ci10 and now click on the gate sources the configuration is done now jenkins show agent job okay so here we have the agent job one so we change it to zero one agent pool and here you need you can select the agent any windows or ubuntu anyone which one you want so here to running my job i need to select the windows or i can select the windows latest or ubuntu latest okay because this is not related to the jenkins server here we just want to run our jobs if you have the self-hosted agent you can provide the details of the self-hosted agent but now i'm using the microsoft hosted agent just to run my job not the jenkins job because our jenkins job is running on this jenkins server all right so now i will come to the agent job configuration part now here click on this plus signs to add a new task and now in search box you can select the jenkins now you need to select the jenkins queue job you have the three options you need to select jenkins queue job and here you just add this job click on this job to enter the information and the properties for this job now here this is the job name now here the jenkins service connection so 
whatever service connection we have created earlier we can select the same one so we have updated the Jenkins service connection 01 demo okay i will select this service connection now i need to provide the job name okay so this is my jenkins dashboard and here i have the multiple jobs okay so let's choose the build job okay i want to build my job through the jenkins and let's copy this build job and provide here right so azure demo build job i have selected this job and okay that's it now you need to save these configurations save and queue so that it will execute now okay windows latest this is a master branch save and run now let's focus here if the new job is triggered automatically or not okay so now the job is going to start here through the classic editor pipeline so this is the job let me click on this job name job 01 and it will take time to start so our job is running on the windows latest microsoft hosted agent and when the job will execute it will execute all the tasks within the job first it will initialize the job then it will check out the project on this uh, machine windows latest then you can see the queue job Jenkins is running so it is running this job the queue Jenkins job and it is running so now if you see so this time that build 10 is automatically triggered here you can see still the job is successful and now it will update the status queue Jenkins job is successfully executed here and the post job is also done now we can see the status of this job so this is the overall status success okay and this is the job automatically trigger here through the classic editor pipeline in the azure devops